You guys are watching NBA Now here live on Chat Sports. I am your host, Harris Rubenstein. You can follow me on Twitter at SportsTeen for all your NBA news and updates. I want to thank you guys for coming along with the show today. Obviously, the Anthony Davis news is really everything that anyone wants to talk about right now. But let's talk about Anthony Davis in spectrum to the Los Angeles Lakers. So as we went over before, we know that Anthony Davis has requested a trade from the Pelicans. And according to Adrian Wojnarowski, who said this at the start of the season, and he also reaffirmed this on ESPN this morning, the Lakers will be quote-unquote aggressive in their pursuit of Anthony Davis and that most of the team's young talent could be traded. Now, I said this before and I'll say it again. We had another report from Sam Farmer of the LA Times this morning that a deal for Anthony Davis would have to start with Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Eviga Zubak, and a first round pick. That is where this trade would have to start. So already the Lakers are gonna have to give up the prettiest of all pennies in order to give up Anthony Davis. But the real question that we need to ask ourselves right now is whether or not the Lakers simply have enough young assets in order to get Anthony Davis. Because if you're the Pelicans, you can just wait. Why wait? Or excuse me, why trade him now? Why not just wait until the summer and have teams bid against each other to drive up the price for Anthony Davis? The Pelicans have one shot to get this right. One shot to get this right. Because we have seen in the NBA uh, for the past five years, how you trade your superstar will determine how your team does for the future. The Orlando Magic kind of botched the Dwight Howard trade. They were never able to recover, still haven't since. The Never Nuggets didn't make that great of a deal for Carmelo Anthony. They still haven't recovered. The team that did make a good trade for their superstar, the Indiana Pacers for Paul George, they have reignited their franchise with Oladipo despite the injury on top of the Sabonis kid that they got as well, who's been great off the bench for them this year. I am a little bit worried as to the Pelicans not getting enough for Anthony Davis and that basically ending any hope of their franchise being successful. It's either they get enough for Anthony Davis and they can remain relevant or they don't get enough from him and they likely end up getting shipped to Seattle. So the Anthony Davis trade is really going to shift the balance of the entire NBA, but especially for the Western Conference. Got a question here from Sug Pat and then I'm looking at the comments saying, why wouldn't the Lakers make this move? That's a good question. I said this before, and I'll mention this again. The reason the Lakers won't make this or shouldn't make this trade is because it's simply too expensive. And they can use their young talent to go get a Bradley Beal, to go get a CJ McCollum, to go get a player that's still relative of age to Anthony Davis, but won't cost literally half of their entire team. Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, Brandon Ingram, Avika Zubak, and two first round picks are what we here at Chad Sports are predicting the Lakers would have to give up for Anthony Davis. That is a fat package. Fat package. I cannot remember a team giving up that many young players for one single guy in a very, very, very long time. Melo wasn't giving up for that much. Dwight Howard wasn't giving up for that much. Paul George was giving up for literally three times less than that right there. So the Anthony Davis trade is really going to shift the hopes and dreams for a lot of different franchises. But I will say this inspection to the Lakers and with LeBron James. Very interesting timing on this uh, on this trade request, isn't it? Very interesting that this is happening the first day of Super Bowl week. And also, oh yeah, right before the trade deadline. And also, maybe a couple games before LeBron James returns to the court for the Lakers. Very interesting timing. Let me know in the comments section below, will the Lakers trade for Anthony Davis? I say they're going to try as <laughs> try hard as hell, but I don't think they are going to be able to get it done. If you guys want to make some money this NBA season, head to chatsports.com slash bet. I want to thank BetDSI coming along for the ride today. Use that promo code NBA120 for a 120% deposit bonus. What is a deposit bonus? You deposit 100 bucks, use that promo code NBA120, and you get $120 for free. Chatsports.com slash bet. Bet on the Super Bowl, bet on a couple great NBA uh, Super Bowl day odds as well. Gonna be a great day to make some money with Bet DSI. Let's talk about the Lakers possibly trading for AD at the deadline. So the timing for this Anthony Davis trade is imperative. Why? Because the Lakers have an opportunity here to beat the Celtics to the punch. They clearly requested this trade now to force a deadline move. 
obvious. The, Anthony Davis wants to be at New Orleans as fast as possible. He wants to put the pressure on the Lakers to make a move for the deadline because obviously Clutch Sports wants all of its eggs in one basket and they want Anthony Davis and LeBron James both in L.A. The real question here, though, is when are the Pelicans going to actually trade Anthony Davis? Because as I've said now multiple times, they could just wait until the dead or they could just wait until the summer and have every single team in the NBA besides the Detroit Pistons, as it's already come out. They're not going to make a trade for Anthony Davis. They're going to have every team in the NBA basically bidding against each other in order to get Anthony Davis. So if you're the Pelicans, you still have a ton of leverage. You still have a full year of Anthony Davis's contract. You have all the leverage in terms of waiting. I'd be very, very surprised if the Lakers actually are able to get Anthony Davis at the trade deadline. Quick, quick tangent. Ray Daniels on YouTube says, uh, Harris Rubenstein, you must be a Warriors fan. That's insulting. That's just, that's just insulting. I'm not, I'm not a Warriors fan. This is disgusting. Why would I be a Warriors fan? Ugh, I don't want to be a Warriors fan. Y'all need to watch more NBA now if you think I'm a Warriors fan. That's just not... It's just not acceptable at all. Ray Daniels, you need to go do a little research. You need to go follow me on Twitter at Sports Team to see how little of a Warriors fan I am there. It is, I respect the Warriors. I do not root for the Warriors. And Anthony Davis might end up on the Warriors anyway. So that would just be horrifying. Let's talk about LeBron James. So obviously no surprise to anyone since this has been a massive conspiracy theory since Anthony Davis first signed with Rich Paul, who is also LeBron James' agent. So yes, Anthony Davis... Signed before the season with Rich Paul and Clutch Sports, which is LeBron's agent and business partner, and also basically the agency that LeBron James partly owns. Many people, including myself, think that LeBron James is trying to get Anthony Davis to the Lakers. But this was the hope. This was always the plan when the Lakers signed LeBron. Their plan has always been to get Anthony Davis to LA to play with LeBron James. And I'm not surprised. This would end up being... Actually, do you know what? This is a really interesting question. I asked this the last time we had a show, and I want to get your guys' opinion on this. Let me know in the comments section below. Would Anthony Davis be the best player that LeBron James have, has ever played next to? That's a really interesting question. I think that it would be, though I wonder who you guys think is better. Anthony Davis right now or peak Dwayne Wade when LeBron first went to Miami? I want to know from you guys. Let me know in the comment section below there. Uh, or Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is also an option there, though. I think Anthony Davis might be better, though. Finals Kyrie Irving, when they won the NBA Finals in 2016, was about as good of a point guard as you're going to have in the NBA. So a lot of different options there for who the best player that LeBron James has ever played with. But in terms of Anthony Davis going to the Lakers, this has always been the plan since they've acquired LeBron James. So I don't know from you guys, is LeBron James pulling the strings on the Anthony Davis trade? Basically, is he the one behind the scenes calling the shots for Clutch Sports and for the Lakers? I will say this, and I, I've made this comparison before and I'll make this comparison again. The NBA right now has a massive quote unquote cheating scandal on their hands. There is a huge problem with tampering in the NBA right now and stars aligning on certain teams while they're still contractually obligated to other teams. This is a massive scandal that the NBA is just sweeping under the rug like the MLB did with steroids. Eventually, we are going to have a massive tampering scandal in the NBA and it's only going to happen once LeBron James is gone. If you don't think that LeBron James, the Lakers, and Anthony Davis are in cahoots to try to get him to the to the LA, you're crazy and you're just not paying attention at this point. Ahmad Z says, yes, he's also trying to get Luke fired. Doesn't surprise me either, seeing as this is what LeBron has done in every single place that he has ever gone to. He's gotten the coach fired. He's gotten his players signed and the team has always conformed to his witches. If you are a Lakers fan and you didn't expect this to happen, you are blind. You, do, you are woefully blind and willfully ignorant to signing LeBron James and what happens after that. He is absolutely pulling the strings on this situation. And if Anthony Davis ends up on the Lakers, you're going to have a lot of really angry NBA executives calling tampering against the, uh, against the Lakers. Watch out for the Pelicans actually posting a real, I think they could have a real lawsuit on their hands. If Anthony Davis does end up going to Lakers in free agency or something, I think we could have a real problem here 
overall with this tampering issue. Let's move away from Anthony Davis for now. Let's talk about Carmelo Anthony. We saw him last night at Madison Square Garden, chumming it up with the, with the Knicks fans. According to Adrian Wojnarowski, LeBron wants Melo on the team with him. We're going to have a big three of Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis. It's going to be lit, except it's not because that's a terrible idea. Apparently, the Lakers will only sign him if a roster spot is open. They will not cut a guaranteed contract for him. So basically, if the Lakers make a move for Anthony Davis and they open up three spots on their roster and they don't have to give Carmelo Anthony a guaranteed contract, Melo will be a Laker. And that's really the only way that Melo's going to end up on the Lakers. It'd be fun to see. It'd be really fun. But it's also not going to happen. And frankly, eh, he's not really the biggest concern right now for the Los Angeles Lakers. Let's talk a little bit more about the about the Lakers and what they could do at the trade deadline. How about some smaller deals that the Lakers could be hunting for at the deadline this year? We've talked a couple uh, of times now about the big deals they could make, whether it's a uh, an Anthony Davis or a Bradley Beal. LA could hunt for some smaller deals. They need some outside shooting and also some cap uh, space help as well. They may not end up with the blockbuster we're all hoping for. I'm certainly hoping and praying that they end up with a Bradley Beal or an Anthony Davis, mostly because not that I like the Lakers, but I mean, it's great for business. It'd be great for, for, for business if Anthony Davis ended up on the Lakers or hell, even Bradley Beal. That'd be awesome for me. A lot to see talking about. But here are a couple small time players the Lakers could trade for if they don't go with a bigger move. Jeremy Lin could be a nice backup point guard option if a, if a couple injuries happen or they decide to move on from Josh Hart. Ken Bazemore could be a great shooting option off the bench for the Lakers for a playoff run because boy, oh boy, the Lakers need some help on the outside in terms of shooting. And then Solomon Hill is another small option in terms of the Lakers making a little bit of a deadline deal. Would open up some cap space for the Pelicans to maybe make a move this summer. Just a little bit of a sweetener to start things off. And then also just to get another expiring for the Lakers in terms of getting some money off the books for this summer.